of it. Mm-hmm. Which storage class we will use S3? Can you repeat once again? Suppose if you want to. I just want to store my uh, historical data. I just want to archive my data in S3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very frequently. I, I retrieve data from S3 very, frequent, uh, very frequently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So which kind of uh, storage class uh, will you prefer to store the such kind of data? Yeah, mostly we'll go for the S3, uh, S3 bucket where we will uh, update uh, uh, like uh, static data and all there. So yeah, S3 only in S3, which which storage class? There are several storage classes in S3 itself, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, for this archive, we have a uh, like a archive related one uh, uh, services are there that we can go. So if you will go, uh, then there that will show the historical data, like all the graphics. Uh, Graphical user interface will options will come. Okay. What is the S3 bucket policy? Uh, um, bucket policy. Yeah, we have a uh, like uh, the uh, whatever the image we are uh, uploading or static data we are uploading in S3 yeah. that will be created as a like a hexadecimal form as a unique ID. Hello. One second. Yeah. Uh, Amar, Amar, can you stop your video sharing and enable it? It's stuck for me actually. Okay. Now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, thanks mm-hmm. for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, could you please repeat it? Uh, what's the S3 bucket policy? Yeah, S3 bucket policy, we have a multiple policies like while we are storing any data uh, in S3, then that will be create a, some unique ID. So that unique ID will have a algorithm of a, like uh, some hexagonal, hexadecimal form that will be generated. And they will create a, a like uh, some compressed file uh, also. And uh, while we need to send this information, we'll have a unique ID, that reference we have to call, that unique ID. Based on that, uh, that will be called. What's the difference between horizontal scaling and vertical scaling? Where in microservice or in yeah, anywhere? Yeah. So yeah. whatever it's in mm-hmm. anywhere. Yeah. It gives the same meaning. Yeah, while we uh, yeah same. So while yeah. we going for the any deployment or any uh, uh, modifications of the applications, then uh, we'll have a horizontal and vertical scaling. So like a. Uh, uh, vertical scanning, uh, like uh, scaling means like uh, suppose if your uh, server uh, have multiple requests simultaneously is coming, uncertainty uh, request uh, is coming. For that, you need to uh, load balanced, like uh, how our server will scale up automatically. So that our server will, uh, like uh, if you have a one instance right now, a request has came out of that instance, then they, indirectly they will call one of some instance that will be created by. Uh, AWS or in microservice will have uh, some Spring Cloud component through that we can create. It's called vertical and horizontal like uh, that will also related for like uh, suppose our uh, request is coming or uh, fluctuation like coming and increasing or decreasing and that. In that cases we have a horizontal scaling so that will be a uh, constant. You worked on MongoDB right? Yeah. Uh, for the example, uh, if you want to set up uh, set up similar kind of uh, MongoDB thing in uh, uh, AWS, which technology, uh, which service you use in AWS? A similar thing, if you use, yeah. So here we have a uh, like a uh, uh, Dynamo DB is there. Uh, Dynamo DB is, uh, I think, uh, uh, Dynamo is there. Uh, there is Dynamo is, I think, relational database. We have a database, uh, they are similar, uh, we have to check uh, for this, document no, DB, you know, right? yeah, yeah, sir, so, yeah, document DB also there. Okay, okay. Uh, have you worked on Lambda function? Uh, Lambda we have in project, but uh, mostly I mm, use some of the cases, okay. not in a whole, but I know that. Okay. Okay, if you want to trigger a Lambda function, how mm-hmm. would you do that? Uh, How many ways you can tell it? You can tell. Uh, yeah, mostly if you want to trigger a lambda functions, we have a two ways. One is uh, like a, uh, uh, one is we can create a lambda through this AWS console. Create a uh, use the service of AWS lambda, and there we can create a functions and which will be uh, taken care for the backend uh, uh, backend URL which need to be uh, 
uh, call and others like uh, uh, while uh, in backend which I have seen like uh, uh, to create a to trigger the lambda functions we have a backend application where we have to add the dependency in form XML and then call uh, this lambda function so while we call we need to add this uh, 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 lambda service fu functions which has been generated that we have to uh, I think auto add here in our application okay, fine uh, uh, okay let's uh, get, get into some java stuff mm -hmm. okay uh, what are the java 8 features java 8 have uh, multiple features is there like uh, lambda expression functional interface date time api and then uh, for uh, method reference uh, steam api and all are there optional and all so these all are the main features which we used on frequently daily basis okay. what is the functional interface functional interface is a single abstract method will be available in that interface so create a interface there we have to annotate it at the red functional interface and inside this uh, interface we'll have a only one abstract method that is called sam and uh, you can use a static and default that, that is called function so in java also have a by default some of the functional interface like serializable clonable and all okay for example you created an interface with two abstract methods mm -hmm. and declared it as a functional interface right you, you mentioned you given a functional interface uh, annotation. annotation yeah uh, what will you get once you declare a functional interface annotation then in that only one abstract method will allowed if you will try to other abstract method you will create that will be uh, give some exception error and uh, uh, you can uh, use to expose this uh, method or this inter by the help of this interface you can expose this method in any uh, implementation class okay And suppose if you want add default or any aesthetic which is required for the client and all then directly you can add in that also so most of the cases this type of scenario we used function interface okay uh, what is a lambda expression lambda expression is a way or technique like uh, while we uh, uh, process the our execution of code in that cases we'll have a lambda expression that have to follow multiple method parameters uh, so suppose while creating a, a any business logic and process the data so we are declaring in before the java 8 we are declaring a method name accessifier declaration return types and all so these all are is not required in lambda so lambda will have an internal implementation where you want like what is a method name that you can declare and then uh, we have a title operations through that op operator uh, we can mention like what type of logic you want to implement so directly uh, a lambda expressions will know like this later method will be there for this class and they want to like do this operation so we can use a lambda expression through that, that so why predicate uh, yeah predicate uh, is used to uh, check the conditions either this conditions is valid or not is it true or false so uh, this predicate will have a single input so that input will have a either true or false okay what is the supplier supplier is used for uh, we have a consumer and supplier so supplier will use for the output single output will be there so like uh, there is a return type is like what is the output consumer will have a one input and function if you want to use then we have a output and return type will be there in that so mostly these things we used in while we are processing the data by using a stream API using funks uh, lambda expression in that cases we use supplier predict predicate consumers what is a by predicate by predicate is a both directional like uh, while uh, we have a uh, like uh, 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 we are checking the conditions uh, so that both way we will check uh, like uh, before after i think by predicate means like both side will, will be fully validate the conditions and all i think both sides means uh, uh, i heard what and right now i'm not sure but i think uh, um, both way applicable for this validate the conditions Fine. Not so. uh, you know about int predicate int int predicate 
yeah int predicate will check like uh, uh, validations of either true or false related for integer type not uh, any string or any uh, other conditions okay uh, what is a stream api stream api is a way to process the data by using lambda expression so uh, oh, like we have a list of employee details then stream api will have a like uh, uh, will have a process like to using a map flat map and then uh, like a lambda expressions filters and all other method many methods are there through that we can process the uh, our expressions easily or very fast way how can you get a stream how can we get a stream yeah uh, yeah while we used java 8 uh, there java 8 in build library is there so uh, that uh, if you call uh, jdk or jre so there uh, uh, will have a uh, uh, streams uh, features are there so directly you can use the streams okay, for example okay for example you mm -hmm. have array list mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. how can you get the uh, stream for that array list okay and that is stream for the array list yeah so we have array list so we will mention like a in the array list is a list type of interface like a reference so list dot a stream and in that conditions if you want a filter then you can as a filter and then we have to map uh, so that map will uh, process the data whatever the, the stream has been processed that will be converted from one to another form one form to another form in map and then we have a collector so through that we will collect the data either which form is a two list or other list what is a collection interface and collections class yeah collection is a yeah collections is a class and collection is a interface so uh, interface is a uh, like a collection is a interface which is a framework where we have a multiple interface which will be available like list set and map so list will, list will provide a duplicate set will provide a unique data and map will provide a dupli uh, duplicate with the be based on the key and value so there we can insert the data based on key and value so list have a multiple uh, classes are there like array list link list vector and stack so there we can process as per the requirement we will process the data where duplicate will allow but in set we will have a multiple class like has set linked has set tree set navigable sets and others so while we use this then we have a unique data if you want sorted order unsorted order or any other conditions then uh, we can go for the set what are the legacy classes in the list uh, list interface uh, related uh, what are the legacy classes in the list actually uh, yeah in list we have a legacy classes like a vector and a stack okay uh, what is the difference between list and set uh, yeah list is used for like uh, to allow okay, the to find uh, one second uh, sorry okay uh, for example mm -hmm. uh, I have list of, uh, I have 10 elements mm -hmm. and I, uh, which having uh, 10, 10 different elements yeah. I just want to preserve the insertion order. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one uh, you should uh, choose, list or set? Uh, okay, if you want to preserve the insertion order, so insertion order will be allowed in list. So better we can go for list. Okay, uh, how hash map works? Internally, hash map will work like while uh, I already told like hash map will store uh, the data based on the key and value. So while we uh, create a hash map, so there will have a create a bucket. So if you will go for internal implementation, that will be the size of 16. So which will be a start from index from 0 to 15. And uh, there if you want to uh, uh, add any element in hash map, then uh, they will internally uh, create a two things. One is a equals method, another is a uh, uh, has code so why uh, suppose we have a key multiple key will be there that all key is a unique but maybe with the best the same of key will have a different uh, duplicate value will be there so why we insert the data like one is a merge then that will be a store uh, that will be create a has code and a store in index of one again we have a one is a, a kumar so that will be go for like the same index but there will be some linky list linky list which will be like we have a same has code and then they they have to check the equals method is the content is same if same then already inserted if not content okay. like value is different then that will be stored in the next node 
where the same index of next node that is uh, that's why we have a hash code and equals method which will be there in the okay. hash map implementation uh, okay what are the spring core annotations can you give a list of spring core annotations yeah spring core annotations mostly will have a, like a controller rest controller uh, uh, request mapping component at the rate component repository and then service at the rate service and all and uh, if you want any other configuration then this type of uh, config at the rate configuration these things we have a spring core annotation a, a spring mbc uh, we okay. used what are the stereotype annotations what no. are the yeah, these all are the like at the rate service at the rate uh, repository at the rate uh, co component uh, and uh, controller. These all are the stereotype annotations which will be added on the class level. And while we use, then that class will be behavior like that. Okay, how can you uh, how can you achieve Spring security? Uh, Spring security we can achieve by using three ways multiple ways but mostly three ways which i have like uh, one is uh, enable web security adapter which has spring on build automatically is there suppose you create a class in in that extend the enable web security adapter so that will be give give you the role based authentication role based user authentication authorizations and all others we have a jwt that if you want to use jwt there's a web tokens will be generated while we need to communicate from one api to another api so that tokens will be generated and then verify the users and again after that tokens will be generated and session will be created you can use the jwt token uh, uh, that better token and all other we have a ua and others two factor authentication so okay. through that we can do Fine. what is the executor framework do you know about executor framework uh, executors mostly we use when I was on banking uh, there we used executor framework while uh, we need to, uh, to create a thread pool of the multiple executions where uh, our multiple uh, process will be started and there we can create a uh, like a executor framework which will be execute uh, like uh, what type of uh, 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 like uh, process need to be started uh, that we have I think done through the executor and thread pool okay what's the difference between callable and runnable uh callable and runnable both are the uh, like uh, in uh, thread um, thread in the inside the thread class we will use runnable is used uh, uh, in uh, is used for the uh, run uh, while uh, if you have created a thread and then uh, we can uh, run uh, this particular uh, thread and callable is used to call that so why call that will be thread which will be there in the particular uh, state not in the uh, running state that is called by this that may be in the waiting conditions or maybe execution conditions but uh, call a runnable will be uh, run in conditions so that will be in execution okay. what is the difference between runnable and uh, runnable interface and third class uh, yeah, the thread class is a, both are the uh, we used in the thread. So thread class we can extend while, while we created any thread in that we can extend the th custom thread then we can extend the thread class. So while you extend the thread class at a time only one class you can extend. But if you use implementation of runnable interface then you can extend the multiple time of like uh, more than of one class like you can implement or extend there. So better we can go for the renewable interface while you use any custom thread creations and all. Okay. Yeah. Fine, Amar. Uh, good for now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Done with the interview now. Uh, we, our team will reach out for the further discussion. Yeah. Okay. So uh, do you want to know anything? Yeah. So for which which client you are hiring and what all uh, the technology? Actually, I don't know for the which client, but mm -hmm. it is uh, specific for uh, Java and AWS. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, looking for both Java and uh, who knows Java and AWS very well. Mm -hmm. The main, uh, so yeah, we're looking for them actually. Okay. And how many rounds will be there? I don't know. I think. Uh, do you have any rounds earlier from the? No, not at first. To this? No. Okay, this is the L one. Hmm. I think it would be two. Yeah, our okay. team will reach out for the. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Amar. Yeah, thank, thank you. Nice talking to you.
have a great day bye same to you bye thank you